It'd be difficult to find a teenager who doesn't know his or her way around the Internet. And now there's evidence that too much time in front of a computer screen might lead to serious mental health problems, including depression. Researchers say the teenagers in their study were mentally healthy at the beginning of the study, but those who became addicted to using the Internet were two and a half times more likely to become depressed within a matter of months. Whether you're limiting your social interactions or it's impacting your schoolwork or your job or your interactions with your family, that's when we start thinking that something is looking more pathological. In Child psychologists say teenagers should be limited to an hour of recreational screen time a day, and that includes mindlessly surfing the net, social networking, video games, television, and movies. Well, many of us like to sleep in on the weekends, but it turns out sleeping in may do little to actually chip away at your overall sleep deficit. In a sleep study from the University of Pennsylvania, researchers restricted sleep for 160 adults to just four hours a night for a week. The sleep deficits led to shorter attention spans and delayed reaction times. And even when they were allowed to get 10 hours of sleep to recover, it wasn't enough to get their cognition back to normal. A California company will begin the first ever trial of embryonic stem cells on human patients. The FDA has approved the trial for the Garon Corporation, which will initially test for safety. About 10 patients will be involved. All will have irreversible spinal cord injuries. Geron will then turn the embryonic stem cells into a type of neutral support cell and inject them into the spinal cord. Even if patients improve with the stem cell therapy, it would still require years of testing and further research before it could be used in the general population.